I'm excited to introduce to you the new PNG overlay set, Wild Animals Volume 1. This has been created with a lot of work. I really wanted to make sure that these animals were cut out properly for you. And so we've got a set of 10 wild animals. So you don't need to go in and refine it and spend a lot of time fixing it up because I've done all of the hard work for you. You can see the detail there in the fur and the hair and it's all cut out for you. Now these are transparent PNG overlays making it so that you can place it straight in the scene. I am actually going to release all of these animals to you, these PNG animals, this pack. If you want to know more about that, click on the link, but these will be available for free very, very soon. I'd like to show you now how you would place one of these PNG animals into the scene. So I've got a Christmas scene here and I'm going to choose the little baby deer and place that into the scene for you. So we've got the PNG over here. See, it's transparent, totally transparent. So you just need to pick it up and place it onto your scene. So once you've moved your deer onto your canvas, onto your image, you just need to resize. So to resize, you grab the move tool and click on the corner and hold down shift to make sure that it doesn't go out of proportion. So hold down shift. If you accidentally let up shift, sometimes this happens. So you can just click the little button up the top there that will link it so that it stays in proportion and it locks it so it's not going to make it a crazy size. So then place your deer into your scene in the spot that you want and double click. Now the first thing that you want to do with your deer is make it look more like your deer is actually in the snow. And the way that you can accomplish this is very, very easy. You can use a snow pile brush, and I've got a set of snow pile brushes in my winter brush set, but you just need a brush that looks like a snow pile so that you can embed the deer into the snow. I'll show you that winter brush set now. So if you're over at the education website, you just need to find the Winter Wonderland Photoshop brush set. And that is available in the digital store. So you find that under library, digital store, and all of the content that's available, Winter Wonderland brush set. And you can pick that up. Uh, if you're a member, you get a discount. If you're a workshop member, you get them for free. Um, but you can get that brush set and install that into Photoshop. I will show you how to install that into Photoshop once you've downloaded it right now. Once you've extracted this brush set, you'll find it's an ABR file. You just need to double click that and it will install into Photoshop under your brushes. So you just click on your brushes and you will find that right down the bottom. Now if you're still looking for it and can't find it, just drag that brush set down, make it a bit longer and you'll see them at the bottom. You've got ice, snow piles, snow, so everything you need there to create a winter wonderland scene. I've used some of these already in the image, but we're going to use the snow pile brush, which is this one here, and just build up the snow around our deer. So what we do is we obviously need to make that brush smaller so that it is the right size for the snow. And we go in, look at the feet there, and we've already got a mask on the deer. So all we need to do is stamp some snow using the mask. So we're actually taking some of that deer away. And we'll just click here, and you can see the snow starts to rise up above the deer. So we just Add a little bit of snow around the feet so it looks like the deer's feet are embedded into the snow. We don't need to do it there where it's on the ground. We need to create a shadow there. But adding that just brings that deer into the scene a whole lot more. Now I'm going to show you in a speed edit form the rest of the work that went into bringing the deer into the scene a little bit more. So adding shading, shadows, lighting, rim lighting. And you can do this. Uh, by following the tutorial in the members section. So if you're a story art education member, you can check that out. I will be releasing this full tutorial along with the free overlay set, this set of 10, when we get to our target. So make sure you click on the link so that you can register and I'll let you know as soon as this is available and you can watch the whole thing and you get all of those animals. Thank you so much for watching. Merry Christmas to everyone. I look forward to seeing all your amazing Christmas images. 
My name is Karen Olsop and I'm from Story Art.